Jones Pickleball is to kill. That's two. Hey, thanks for having me. Pickleball, never heard of it. <laughs> never heard no. of it. So it's the fastest growing sport in the last three years. It grows 8% a year. Amazing. I yep. know you know everything about this. this is, is this your passion? I Yes, it is. I guess. <laughs> it kind of evolved into that. How did it become your passion? Uh, this is an interesting story. So um, actually the two partners, there's three of us involved, the two other partners at Crossroads, John uh, Butterfield and Brent Hall, uh, played at Jackson Free Methodist every morning, 6.30. And they're like cultish like they got there every single week yeah. every day and we started they kept encouraging me to come play come play and i'm like ah, guys i'm just probably not in the demographic mm -hmm. for pickleball uh and then i came out one time i don't even know how i ended up doing it and i was like okay go on amazon buy a paddle start mm -hmm. getting more and more and then uh and then it just kind of snowballed from there so great workout uh, but I, I, I say this all the time, but it's, it's really the community, the people yeah. that you get to meet, you know, even like my father-in-law plays. And so he's got his group of friends, mm -hmm. so we'll, you know, we'll all play together. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, your brother Joe, he's like the pickleball uh, champ of the county. Mid Midwest. Actually. Midwest. 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 Yeah. Huh. We, bet, we played in a tournament together. Nice. We got rained out. I think we played one match. Okay. It rained on us. But, um, but yeah, no, yeah, Joe's an incredible player and he does lessons and, awesome. and drill sessions too as well at Crossroads which is really cool for people that want to take their game to the next step yeah which is kind of the the natural funnel of the game mm -hmm. where you you play it's it's kind of a social thing it's like similar to golf right you kind of get the bug and you're like oh this is fun and then you want to join a league and then you want to you know start keeping track of your score a little bit better get better clubs and so that's a similar path that people go so Joe's sessions are great because a lot of people you know, don't know what to do next. And right. so he can help you if you're a beginner or if you're a little bit more advanced. And it's like, it's like ping pong, but on the ground. Yeah, I mean, it's like a <laughs> different version of tennis. Yeah. <laughs> different version of tennis. So, and it's obviously, uh, this, with uh, this facility opening, it's it's been unbelievable. The buzz has been great. Uh, talk a little bit about yeah. the, uh, the, new, the new business, really. Yeah. So it's such a cool story how it all came together. Um, you know, John, as I mentioned, John, Brent, and I had played together at uh, Jackson Free Methodist for quite some time, and we had been looking for a facility. But a lot of times when you're looking for like a warehouse or mm -hmm. something like that, a lot of times people that own these, these are like their retirement. So they're right. not like, you're not getting a good deal per right. se. <laughs> Uh, and so I know there's a lot of groups across. Oh, there's my family there. Lucy, Noah, Lucas, my wife Megan. Um, they uh, so there. You know, you, you you find that there's a lot of newer facilities, and you know that those are <laughs> you could spend seven, eight, nine, ten million dollars right. on these. And so John and I actually, ironically, the same weekend, both drove by this the what was the old American One Event Center, and we're like, man, that would be perfect. So we started talking to Kyle and Emily at the county, and they're like, that could work. Mm -hmm. Talking to Mike Way at the Parks Board, and so uh, it, it quickly evolved into being a thing. Uh, so through a series of board meetings and, and um, different partnerships with the county, it kind of came to life. And then American One, uh, who had you know, taken their name off the building because of the, the new investment, was like, we're seeing you know, what this could do for our community, mm -hmm. and uh, made a very significant investment in the space. Right. So. As it, as it sits today, look, the courts aren't changing, uh, the colors of the walls aren't changing, but we'll be getting uh, all new bathrooms uh, sometime uh, this early Q1 is the plan. Very cool. So yeah, we're really excited about that. So how do you, uh, how do you, how do you become a player over there? How do, yeah. you, how do you get to uh, be involved? Multiple paths, multiple paths. We tell people if they've never played before, probably the, bur the first best step is to go to one of our Intro to Pickleball classes. Okay. They're like 10 bucks. Um, and we have them after the holidays, you'll probably expect probably four a month we'll do. Okay. Uh, and that's where you just learn the game. It's not overly complicated, but there's some weird rules involved. And so we just don't want people their first week when they show mm. up to like not know how to play. So, uh, so that's a great place to start. Then after that, we've got Intro to Pickleball Leagues. So this is kind of like your first league that you, you know be a part of. Uh, and then there's multiple options for membership. Uh, the first option is we have an early bird. So that's if you want to play from like 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 9 a.m., I think it is. Uh, and then there's a social membership that gets you access to that one plus other times throughout the month. Uh, and then uh, there's also another one that's competitive. So as you start playing the game more, there's certain times of the day that are going to be like, I don't know if sanctions the right word, but mm -hmm. you know, someone that's a 3.5 or 4.0 
player, which I'll, we don't need to go into how you rank yourself. Well, I'd like to. It's a whole so. thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> so um, then there's special times throughout the, so as you want to play a little bit more competitively, there's spots for that. Okay. So there's there's multiple ways. Or if you just want to drop in, you can totally pay cool. um, per time to, to drop in. Very and cool. it's it's very reasonable based on which option. Should you have to wear a special clothes. I noticed <laughs> some people have things. I've noticed some shoes and they look a little bit like maybe volleyball or indoor tennis shoes. Yeah. So I would say, I, and this may be the insurance coming out at me right now, but I will say that shoes are probably as important as your paddle, okay. uh, just from a stability standpoint. So most of us just wear hardcore tennis shoes okay. is really what that thing is. But those I do think is if you roll your ankle easily, uh, those are a, pr a pretty important piece. Okay. But other than that, I mean, I mean, there's some stereotypes out there of what pickleball players look like. I feel yeah. like, you know, Joe and I's fashion is like, you know, superseding the, the stereotypes. But you, no. yeah, you guys have like a pickleball aura around you when you guys walk around. Joe does. I mean, he's got the black and white headshots ready to go, signing autographs. Ah. I just, you know. It's I, gone too far. I just take his photos with him. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone too far. Not far enough, they say. I noticed a lot of people have like knee uh, devices on their. Uh, so what you see, that's a, that's a great observation because a lot of times people, there's a lot of people that play, that play tennis most of their life. And if you play any sport, I don't care what it is, you're going to end up having injuries and things are going to happen over time. And so Al Hooper wears this giant thing on his knee. Well, that's so he doesn't, you know, tear his ACL. Yeah. Oh. So uh, there's a lot of that where there have been people that It's not a pickleball played. enhancing device. No. It's a preventative injury mm. device. Thank you. Now you said there's uh, some there's knee, odd there's rules. There's some knee braces oh, there right they are. there. Perfect. Yeah. They're, they're fashionable. Yeah. Uh, what, name, give us one odd rule. Oh, one odd rule. Or like a name so, of something. Okay, yeah. well, the, the middle zone, if we can go back, is there a photo we can get of the courts, maybe an overhead one sure. or one low? I can, kind of, I can kind of point it out for you. Um, all right, there we go. So that spot right in front of the net on the left and the right side, that square box, sometimes you see that box at other courts, they'll paint that one a completely different color. Um, that is called the kitchen, the non-volley zone. And that's where that gentleman in the light blue on In the, the light blue standing, court. yep, mm. yep. So at no point ever, 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 ever can you go in that, in that box. Stay your, out of the your kitchen. Your foot, your hat drops into it, your paddle goes in there, it's all, unless the ball bounces in there. So that if could the be ball a... bounces in, you're allowed to go in there and get it. Oh. Or you can go in before the ball, but as long as the ball has to bounce inside of that. I think we need to go out and uh, do a little video let's segment. Let's do it, Crossroads. Yeah. Mic up, let's do it. Let's do it. So that's a, that's kind of a goofy rule that that takes a little bit of you know memory to, to get yeah. through. So. so if people want to find out more, what's the uh, what's the website? Yeah. So the easiest place to go is crossroadpickleball.com. It's crossroadspickleball.com, and then also our Instagram and Facebook is just at crossroadpickleball. Cool. And right. don't forget we have those beautiful outdoor courts. We do, and you can play there all year. A little cold right now, but yeah. Yeah. those are yeah. yeah. So yeah, a lot of the folks that played outside are, are inside. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that we've seen is that across the country, the trend is pushing more indoor, just because the ball does is kind of you yeah. know vulnerable to the wind, to the wind. and uh, and obviously if it's the court's a little wet. So we we think through the summer we'll still have yeah. people that will be there. Exciting stuff here in Jackson, Stu. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, thanks for having me, Sue Kale from Crossroads Pickleball. More of the show after this quick break.